Hey, my name is Jerome Robinson from Jerome's Theory. Just wanted to talk to you really quick um, uh, about a few things that are frustrating me in relation to uh, Jerome's Theory. So, uh, for example, if you live in an HOA, right, you can live in a nice community. But if you look at that vehicle behind me, right, not allowed to have it because it's uh, it's not my house, by the way, because of the um, if it looks like a commercial vehicle. See that van? I don't know if you can see it way back in the corner, right above my shoulder there. Uh, it's, uh, I guess they have a lot of kids, so it's a regular, it's, it's not a commercial van, but people complain about it. Um, it's a, it's a new van, um, which is like a bigger caravan, right? So, um, you know, I want to put up your Christmas decorations too early. These people did a great job of putting up their Christmas decorations. Uh, homeowner, um, not allowed to keep your garage open for, I think, what is the rule? Like five minutes or 20 minutes or something like that. I don't remember. Um, you, uh, can't have your garbage cans outside at all. Um, I don't want to put my garbage cans in my house, you know, I'll put them on the side or on the back, but get harassed if you have a, a company vehicle that's here for over an hour, uh, you'll get harassed about it, get letters and threatened and all this stuff. Um, there's so many things you can't, can't do, uh, in an HOA. So I'm going to step out f further. Well, let me also, you can't have anybody, uh, park on the street. Not allowed to do that. Um, I do believe in certain rules in each way because uh, your property needs to be kept in, in order. We don't want people having two foot grass, you know, and and uh, keeping their house nice and painted. You know, you don't want to lower the property value. I get that, but let's be honest. I drive a company vehicle and I work a job, and if I my vehicle's nice, I can't park it at my house, right? Um, you're not supposed to have solar panels in the front of your house. I get that. However, I can say over half the people who complain about every other rule have solar panels in the front of their house. So, um, so I'm not knocking the solar panel thing. Hey, I'm in the solar panel business. I'm just saying that uh, a lot of people are hypocrites. They make the rules to suit their needs and have no problem breaking them if it suits their needs. Um, so, uh, I want to talk a little bit more about uh, government. So, uh, what's this I hear about uh, can't collect rainwater, um, can't be off the grid, and uh, um, you can't live and, you know, they're making it more and more to where you have to have, have a physical address. You can't live in a vehicle or in a, I actually, I guess, I don't want to say I'm a fighter or argumentative person, but I'm at the point where I actually want to defy all these rules. Um, I used to live a very, very good life, uh, dated quite a bit of models, I uh, just gave away my Porsche, uh, I had a $94,000 uh, Ford limited pickup truck, very, very nice, loaded with everything, pretty much drove itself, don't have that anymore, I want to get rid of everything I have, I have a four-wheeler, I have a monster Jeep, uh, I gave away, I had a monster truck, you might see it um, in some of the other videos, uh, I have a ton of vehicles. Um, used to have 16 in total. I gave one away. Um, I want to get rid of everything I have. And I wanted to find... I, I don't want an address anymore. I uh, I would love to to be one of those people who live... Uh, what do they call it? The van life, right? In a stealth van. Um, I want to be able to travel the country. I want to be able to travel the world. South America. Love to live on a boat. Um, but I don't want to have to be told about rules that are a little bit, uh, almost like a little too much, like you're pushing my buttons. Um, so, uh, I can tell you right now, um, there is many, uh, cities and townships where, uh, although like I don't break crimes or, you know, I don't do crimes or break the law or whatever, but, um, there's some decent police officers out there and there's, um, many who lie and are arrogant who i've seen treat other people with total disrespect and i've seen quite a few people with my own eyes lie and uh to make an arrest and then i was uh i started videotaping some of these and they asked me to delete it and just get out of here and uh so i did i didn't want to argue or you know fight with a police officer because I don't want them to do that to me and I go to jail and then you go to court and they say hey it's an officer of the law they're not gonna lie they very well know they know that cops lie in fact more cops lie than not right um 
<clears throat> knowing that, uh, you know, you, you, you don't stand a chance in, in court, especially if you have a public defender who definitely is not going to care about you. I'm not speaking from my own experience because I'm, I haven't gone through that. I am, however, speaking for uh, the general public. And uh, I'd like to be there for a lot of people who need me or someone like me to be able to represent them and to help them um, if, if they get into trouble. Um, feel free to contact me below. Uh, I'm not the best at getting back to messages. I have a lot on my plate, but contact me below. Uh, you know, hit like and hit subscribe and I'll either myself or try to send a team or somebody who can uh, help you if you ever get into trouble like that. Um, but yeah, I am rambling on and I just wanted to basically uh, air my frustration um, that enough's enough, right? And I, I, you know, I personally live in a gated community. It's supposed to be a nice gated community, right? Uh, exclusive or whatever. Um, I notice everybody's so uptight. I mean, there's a few good people here and, and there's some nice, really amazing neighbors, but people are so uptight and there's a lot of gossip that goes on and it's like uh, everybody seems to like hate each other and why work so hard only to be miserable? I don't want to be miserable. Um, I like helping other people. I want to go out there and just enjoy my life. Um, I want to lose weight, right? I gained a lot of weight. I want to just be happy. Um, you know, like I told you before, I want to get rid of everything. I've got motorcycles. I want to get rid of, uh, ATV. I want to get rid of, um, and I just want to, I already got rid of uh, the camper. Uh, I just, I want to close down my businesses and just go on the road. Uh, kind of over it. And, uh, maybe I'm having a wham moment and maybe it'll just be 12 months. Uh, which is my plan, 12 months on the road in the United States, uh, one year on a boat, and then the next 12 months traveling South America. That would be so cool, right? But anyway, I just wanted to tell you that uh, uh, if you're frustrated or, or and, and you want change, uh, definitely comment below and check out uh, Jerome's Theory. Uh, very, very informative, and it'll explain a lot. So definitely hit like, and uh, sorry for rambling, and hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the flip side. Jerome Robinson for Jerome's Theory. Thank you so much.